Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys a optional tool for doing 2D dangs, which is called Sprite Illuminator. And the idea behind this program, as you might guess from the title, is to take a 2D sprite, which is normally completely flat, and to apply what's called a normal map on top of it. And the normal map allows you to raise and lower certain areas strictly for the purpose of lighting. So you're not really uh, stretching your sprite out of proportions, but by making it so that certain areas are hit with more light than other areas, you can give the illusion of depth where one area is going to look dark because it's kind of hidden in the background, quote-unquote, and then other areas are more front-facing, like possibly this goblin's face, uh, so it should be lit up more. And the quickest tools you can use to do that are Bevel and Emboss. Bevel is going to basically raise certain areas, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's all calculated based off the brightness of the original texture. So like the black isn't going to be raised up, but these bright green areas would be. And then Emboss is going to lower certain areas, which is uh, recommended for things like bricks, where you have that little crevice in between the bricks, and you might want that to be dark, whereas the brick itself, since that's front-facing, that's where you actually want the light to hit. So let's go ahead and just do this emboss as a very standard thing. So emboss height 4, smoothness 4, and we can see already that this little light over here in the top right, it's hitting the character, but it's not lighting it up equally, and that's because of the normal map. So the normal map, you could almost think of it like terrain for your texture, um, because the height of the areas in the middle, you can see it's a little bit elevated, are actually preventing the light from reaching the left-hand side. But because uh, it hasn't reached that height on the right-hand side, the light can still hit over there. So likewise, if I move this light source around, the height of the normal map is going to block some of the light, and whatever gets hit first is of course going to be lit up the most. And if we wanted to have kind of a creepy character effect, um, by positioning the light beneath the character, it's going to give that kind of really spooky look where the back of the face is hidden, but the front of the face is really lit up. So there's a few interesting things you can do with the tool. So beyond just bevel and emboss, uh, you can actually take a texture, which is kind of boring and completely flat, and, uh, well, this is basically a piece of sheet metal and you can apply a normal map pattern on top of it. So what is normally a totally flat object can be raised and lowered to sort of be something more like chain mail instead of sheet mail. So I have this pattern over here. Uh, these all come out of the box, by the way. And we can actually just use a brush to draw over it. And by doing that, it doesn't actually change the original texture, but it does change what gets out because um, we can actually export the lit sprite when we're done here. And because it's a normal map drawing on top of the original texture, once again, the light, the way it hits it, it's going to cast shadows, and certain areas aren't going to receive as much light as others, depending on the position of the light source. So it's really cool being able to bring lighting to a 2D game, uh, where traditionally they don't really have a lot of light. So I think it's a pretty interesting tool for anybody who wants to bring another layer of depth to a 2D game. So once again, it's called Sprite Illuminator. It's at codeandweb.com slash Sprite Illuminator. I think they have a free trial. I'm not 100% certain on that. But yeah, go give it a shot. Look at some of the tutorials, what you can do with it. It's pretty cool. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my future video content.